Funeral reception of a late Colonel Zoe Shwaibu, the husband of a veteran broadcaster with Radio Nigeria, who also owns a fashion factory, Mrs. Gloria Shwaibu in Lagos. We had to come stay with our big mummy to know how she's doing. At least to come straight with her for the loss of her husband. Let's look for her right now. Thank you. I hope you're feeling all right. So, Lord, I was waiting for mom. Make sure our own musician, big time musician, just showed up. So, let's talk with her and know how she's feeling right so how are you doing i'm anointed thank you i understand everything and i know how you're feeling but i believe god is your strength Truly. so what's that particular thing you will miss from your dad mm, quite honestly my my father was a man of the people a man of god for really believed in god his heart was very big and he had a very unusual generosity for a military man that like the military people are very serious minded yeah. and they have a goal and they just go for that they don't really concern for themselves family, yes for my i don't know man god in fact this is an opportunity to say thank you god mm. for creating my dad the way he did so what particular character you pick from him that you can move on with man his resilience and his big heart he had a very big heart very very strong minded strong will and focus thank you so much now coming to your profession yeah. i say is there anything we're expecting soon or is there anything Definitely. already cooked that you're already in the market i hope you were not in the kitchen spying this one you're already saying <laughs> you know well quite honestly i'm excited because um the last project i did my father dropped a couple of millions for me to wow. to, to, to do that project and when i was rounding up the project he went into a coma ah. so the last song i recorded of that project is a song i now call my love letter to all dedicated fathers around the world mm. i recorded the song while my father was in the coma and even when he was in the coma i went to the hospital and i sang the song for him and he could hear the song, he could hear the lyrics, and, and doctors have been trying to bring him to consciousness. But the moment I sang my that song to my dad, he started shaking on the bed and everything. It's, right now, I feel really emotional because it's all coming to my head, you know. Um, quite honestly, I cannot wait to share this love letter to dedicated fathers with the world. This song is called Oh Baba, and you guys should watch out. Do you want to hear the taste of it? Um, okay, just give us uh, just yeah. one line. Oh Baba, my Baba, I remember the painful sacrifices that you made for your wife, my Baba, and for me, your child is coming out. So yeah, stay that thing. Come on. Wow. So we can't wait to get yeah, and, um, I'm very, very sure, sad. I'm make sure official on every social media. You can follow me on every social media platform. Make sure official. Thank you so very much. And mom is coming out right now to at least dance, shake off, and grant some interviews. We will soon talk with her to know how she feels. There's also uh, a son of his that is a lawyer. Yeah, we will also talk how with him doing? today to know how well, he feels. Okay? I hope you're getting stronger. By God's grace, yes. So what word can you use to describe your husband? And what will you miss most about him? I miss him every day and I always miss him. Describing him is the best husband in the world, as far as I know. Um, he married me from where, when I was nothing, and he made me who I am. Gave me a good job, gave me good children, with good education. And uh, was never hungry one day, whatever I want to wear, I'll get it. And he gave me a shelter. I'm going to miss him. I cry every day. Yes, I cry every day. So, like, with the kind of qualities he has, what do you want the general public to emulate about him, especially in this present world? Oh, that's a good one. My husband was a Muslim, and I was born in a Catholic home. And he never criticized one day, though it was a little difficult. But later, as we live on, he, at times he goes with me to the church. If we have anything doing in the church, he will go. And he calls my general of Asia, my God. So he's, he, he was a down-to-earth man. Um, he is a disciplined man, a man with a, with a good heart. He was a mentor to so many. In fact, he's an hero. Yeah, let me let me crown his that. Let me that we have. Finally, a lot of marriages are breaking. In fact, that's that tying the knot. They are untying the knot immediately they go home. What's your advice to these new couples that I don't really know whether you see that they don't really understand the rudiment of marriage or that they didn't know what they were coming in for? I don't know. What kind of advice do you have for these present day marriages? Yeah, for a successful marriage to happen, the lady has to stomach many nonsense. She must have a large heart and she must have a heart of forgiveness. Um, in any home, my mother used to have this adage that come let's live together, it's come let's quarrel. You cannot just see me on the road and start quarreling with me. If we don't live together, we are not going to quarrel. You know, if we quarrel, it will, it will look like, okay, we just had a quarrel, go your own, I go my own. But when you are, when you are now one as, as a family, as a husband and wife, as a couple, what you just do is having spirit of forgiveness, uh, smile over most people when you are angry, and when the other party is angry, find a way to comfort yourself and stay out of trouble, don't fight, don't exchange words. And the other partner will later come back and realize that, oh, 
he or she was wrong and they end up apologizing to each other and one thing we should also know is that some people some men don't even know how to say sorry they have different ways of apologizing to a woman when they are wrong some will give you a hug some will tell you i love you some will take you out some will buy gifts and come and give you so you take it the way you see it is your cross as long as you have agreed to marry the man yes you have to accept his cross finally mom um, we observe that mothers or parents actually train the girl child more they give them as in these are what they expect in marriage these are what not to do in your husband's house but we have observed that the male children are not actually giving such training or such details as the girl child what do you think um, actually caused it yeah the, the truth is that the truth is that most girl ch uh, child are being uh, being uh, uh, trained by their parents especially the mothers but they're they are, they are more at all with these children uh, they go to school and meet up with peers where they learn different habits so it is not really the fault of the mothers or the fault, the fault of the father but the peer group so what happens is build your child bring up your child in a godly way that when the friends are trying to you know deviate them from yes from what you have taught them to be they will remember that god does not like this so the key to that is bring up your child in a godly way from the from the roots so that as they go out to miss up they will be a preacher of god when the others when the other friends are trying to lure them into things that are not they will they will just quickly you know withdraw and say no i don't think i'm made for this so the, the key word is bring up your children in a godly way thank and you so much thank mama you. may the lord continue to strengthen you amen amen thank you